What is it with this girl and her erratic body movement? You can probably figure out where Messy Maria is going with this whole fairies don't You know, the more you talk, the more I believe that you're wrong. Shouldn't you be trying to move away from the camera? You know, because you're such a mess. I am done. I just can't do it anymore. I have to step away from that world and I know a lot of you love the theories and the Coraline theories especially. I so this is for the people who want to suck the fun out of everything. So it was like any other typical Tuesday. I woke up from bed. I scrolled through my analytics just to check on the comments of, you know, recent videos or whatever. And then I saw this one comment. It was from an older video, a Coraline video. As you know, those videos, I used to make a lot of those back in the day. Back in the day? <laughs> this is like two years ago, a year ago, a couple months ago. That's not back in the day. Anyways. It's like last week. <laughs> Basically, they were talking about some other video of some, some guy roasting me or whatever. So I was like, what? Yeah. I got anxiety real quick. And so I searched up this channel. It's called CZ's, CZ's, S, CZ, something world. I see the video that they posted two days ago. I guess now it's three days ago. Um, so we're just going to react to it. I didn't watch all of it. I watched a little bit of it. And um, I, th I think it's kind of funny. Damn. But, but. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Interest in a topic online, YouTube will recommend more videos on that topic. And this is how I became acquainted with Coraline Theorists. I have some theories, some good ones. I'm pretty sure the cat is actually a fairy. And he was. <laughs> okay, I just, okay, I want to say, because I have seen a little bit of the video, and I know what he's going to say. And he, okay, first of all, he has a whole bunch of videos on Coraline as well. Okay? Hmm. So, um, Coraline is a topic of interest, clearly, for many people, and many people love Coraline. I mean, for the people who have been subscribed to my channel, you know that you recommend Coraline videos all the time. You always want to see Coraline videos. And I haven't made it a Coraline video in a while now, and for a reason. I eventually found out it's because other creators have been scrubbing the entire movie, looking at every last frame for potential clues to incorporate into their insane theories. And okay, and what is the issue with that? Literally. That, that barn right there, <laughs> I, okay, yeah, it's just a regular barn. Because me, as a viewer, I'm not going to... Me, personally, I don't care. Hey, you're not really into theories like that. I'm not. Mm -hmm. what, is, what, is, what is the issue? Why not make the story even more interesting than what it already is for so many people? Not for me, but for so many people. Yeah, because, like, um, I thought this one comment that said something like... Um, Oh, I'm pretty sure most most people don't even take these theories really that seriously. It's just mm -hmm. for fun or whatever. And that's true. Most theories online are pretty much just for fun. It's something fun to think about. It's not really meant to be taken seriously, obviously. Okay, I didn't expect to be a theorist channel. I really didn't. But that's the video that popped off for me. And so um, people started asking for more of those. And I gave the audience, you, I gave you what you wanted. A lot of my videos I say, you know, don't, you don't have to believe in this. You can have your own opinions. You please comment them down if you wish, but don't be rude. I'm not harming anyone by making these theories. And, um, mm -hmm. no, who am I harming? Mm. Oh, him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of the most deranged individuals you will ever find on the internet. It's Hold on, brother. Like deranged is, is insane. You heard it? You're insane for making a theory. You heard it there first. I am a crazy person. You are. What I've been watching know about Coraline theorists is that it's essentially an addiction and vicious cycle. Let's just say I didn't find any who stopped after just one theory. There are two reasons for this. One, it's a great movie. Every scene is important, and almost everything you see is handcrafted and put there for a reason. This for is example, true. the dining room in the other world contains... The movie is filled with hidden meaning, leading people to re-examine every last frame, oftentimes looking for messages that probably aren't actually there. Reason number two is that Coraline is proving to be timeless and popular. Mm -hmm. When a creator makes a Coraline video, it usually gets a lot of views and brings that person a lot of attention, thus incentivizing more Coraline content. And more. And more. In fact, it seems like everyone who's made one seems to have a whole collection. Just like let, let, you! Because <laughs> he, says, he says it isn't the goal of this whole freaking side of the world, the YouTube world, to get views on your videos yes ain't that the point my very first video was 
well, my very first theory was on Coraline, and I've talked about this before, but I didn't expect for that video to pop up, and it did. Not, not instantaneously. It took time, and then all of a sudden, it started getting all these views and whatever, and people really liked it. Then I started getting subscribers, and, you know, um, that was one of my channel's most popular videos until the Luca video, which I haven't really made Luca uh, videos. Um, since then, even though, hey, see, it's, it's, that's the thing, like, like, one, my most popular video is Luca. Mm. I've made maybe two videos on Luca. Crazy. That's it. Crazy. And it's my most popular one. But Coraline, the only reason I made so many was not just because it was popular. Yes, it helps, you know, creators out and stuff. And that's no shame in that. But um, it's also because you, the audience, my subscribers, wanted more. And honestly, I wanted to give you that. I wanted to give you more of Coraline. And so I really did what any theorist would do and just research more. Mm -hmm and figure it out. But most of these theories came from a time where I was in New York and New York, I don't want to get into it and I don't want to bore you with all the details, but like it, oh my God, dude, I was alone, school, long hours, like so much homework. It was so stressful, barely had any time for YouTube, but I had to do it. I had to do it. And so granted, some of my theories may not be the best, yeah, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to think that I tried my bestest. I, as my much bestest? as I as much as I could for the time and the you know, for the for where I was at that point in my life. Mm. I've made a few theories here and there of Coraline. And by a few, I mean a lot. Like I've made a lot. <laughs> Coraline, the film by the company Leica, is a movie that I've made so many videos on. You guys love Coraline videos so much that I want to give you what you want. I've even experienced this myself. Okay, you see there, that's one, not two, but three different people that say, I made more videos on Caroline because you, the audience, want to see more videos on Karen, on Coraline, whatever her name Coraline. is. Coraline. Whatever. It's like, what is the issue with doing theories on something that people want to enjoy and see? Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Play. I've even experienced this myself to some extent. I initially planned on doing three videos when I first decided to cover Coraline on my channel. And you're currently watching video number eight. So today I'm going to be going over some of the most unhinged Coraline theories ever created. And I'm going to start with the topic that first... Okay, so... He just said he made like eight different videos <laughs> on Coraline. Yeah. But it's okay because his, his videos are not unhinged. <laughs> well, I guess Apparently. His, I guess his, allegedly his um uh, just to play I guess devil's advocate I don't know what the right terminology would be but I guess his are not actually theories I, mean, I I think I've seen like maybe one of his videos in the past and I did not know it was him. I know I look like a mess. I don't want to hear it from any one of you. Almost 1 a.m. and now I'm recording this. I'm very tired, so I don't want to hear it. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, you look like such a mess. I mean, clearly, you didn't just put on a full face of makeup and curl your hair so it has that perfect face. I can't even believe you would put yourself on camera looking like that. It's honestly kind of insulting to your audience. Okay. I I'll try to look past that. Let's hear why she thinks the camera. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, first off, I want to say. <laughs> There's no face full of makeup. All she does is is her lipstick. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, okay, oh I gotta say God. this. I gotta say this. Okay, look, look. I understand why he would think there's a face full of makeup. I don't. But in New York, I did not have makeup. I had lipstick, mascara, and my eyebrow thingies. That's all I had in New York. I couldn't afford makeup. <laughs> but. The reason it may look like I have a face full of makeup is not because I have a face full of makeup. It's because I felt very insecure with how I looked in that video. And so I put a face filter on it. And that's, there's no shame in that. There's none. I'm being honest with you. I didn't look like that in real life. <laughs> she does. She literally and so, does. And so it was, a, it was a face filter. It was a face filter that I put on because I felt very, very insecure with how I looked. Just saying. But... The whole hair thing, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am very offended. Very. <laughs> As a curly hair community, we are offended. I am very offended. I, I, I did not curl my hair. It, believe me, if I made the time to do my hair at 1 a.m. in the morning. It's insane. I would not have my hair up in a pony like that. I would not have that ugly piece of strands, like, <laughs> just dangling from my head, mm. okay? I would have actually done my hair, you know? And this is this is this is the annoying part about her is is she thinks she looks horrible. Oh my god! But like that was such a pointless clip to put in there. I think. Yeah. Like wait for me. No, for him. Oh. Like I think it was pointless. Like. I I just think he if this was just straight about Coraline, then keep it on Coraline and keep all that <laughs> extraness like out. Yes. But regardless of it, um. I guess it's for entertainment purposes. Yeah, but that like entertainment purposes hurt my feelings. <laughs> Whatever, dude. The cat is very, very strange. He hates the bell dam, but it doesn't seem like he likes Coraline all that much. Yeah, I mean that's what a character arc is. <laughs> <laughs> then they build up some. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Okay, I agree with you. That is a character arc, I guess. But um, yeah, I, I don't even I don't even remember what I said in that video. To be honest, I made so many videos on Caroline that I don't remember that theory. But um, I think I th that was not that was not my only point of that theory. Okay, that was just the starting the develop. That was the the. ¿Cómo se dice? That was the. ¿Cómo se dice? <laughs> it was like the introduction to my point because I know I said a lot more. Yeah, I was gonna say he got you there. He's not wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we know what it is. It's a cat. How do you know? It's a, it's a talking cat. It talks. It's a, it's an animated world of like freaking made up stuff. Exactly, but it talks. It can be anything. The cat talks to Coraline, right? Mm hmm. Right. Dude. Okay, first of all, I searched him up and I think he's a director of some sort. I think this he's, I, yeah, I think he's done some short films or something like that. Um, you should know this, dude. Like in act, like freaking acting school. Oh my God, I sound so dumb. Yeah, you do. That. But in, 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 oh I, maybe I don't know if you went to school or if you took acting lessons or whatever, but if you've taken any sort of improv, which I'm pretty sure you should have if you're a director, if you took an improv, you would know that if they give you a freaking chair, that is not a freaking chair. You can do anything with that freaking chair. That could be a freaking roller coaster. That could be a movie seat. That could be a freaking plane seat. Like it's anything because it's a made up world that you make up in your mind. And you're a director. So you should know that. Okay, regardless of that, the fact that the cat has knowledge from inside that world and out in the outside real world, and he's still able to recognize Coraline and then go back into the world and say, oh, I can talk here or whatever mm -hmm. the case is. Would you not think that that's some kind of like spirit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or some kind of like... Something different. Yeah. Not just a regular cat. Yes, it's a cat, but like, you know, what else is it? That's exactly. what I really meant to say. Barry and our messy theorist here, she's just such a mess. Points out that the well that Coraline throws messy the theory. down is situated inside of a oh, theory, he's being sarcastic. circle of mushrooms that occurs in nature. There's a literal fairy ring in the movie. When people step into it, that's when the bell down traps them. What is it with this girl? <laughs> oh my God, let him finish. I'm sorry. Dude. What? You, you know what it's. You know I what don't know. Oh. Traps them. What is it with this girl and her erratic body movements? I feel like she's about to punch me in the face. She she's should. like a kid on the playground in third grade who's constantly doing this towards your face, and then he's like, "Made you flinch? Made you flinch?" Like, yeah, I flinched at the thing coming towards my face. Sorry for having basic survival instincts. At least well, my parents didn't. Well, okay. That was pointless. That was another pointless. Yeah. Pointless, pointless, pointless <laughs> thing to point out. My like, brother, man. How are you? How are you gonna like? So what if she, if she does all this extraness with her hands? I'm not saying it's extra, <laughs> but it's like, what does that matter? Even if she, even if you are an erratic with with what it, you caught, you obviously caught his attention with that movement. That's why he even had to say anything. I made him flinch. Apparently, then he has some issues because that was through the screen. 
That, <laughs> that was through a screen. If you know a fairy's name, you'd be able to control them. That's why we never get to know the Beldam's name, her real name. Or it could just be that she's an ancient creature from the 1700s and is probably named Eleanor or Clementine or something. Not quite as intimidating as the Beldam. Maybell or Jane just doesn't have me shaking in my rain boots when I hear it. You can probably figure out where Messy Maria is going with this whole fairies don't- Okay, also, that, also- That, that, that right there is when I stopped watching. That moment right there when he said Messy Maria got me so freaking heated. Okay, look, I, it's all jokes and fun and I honestly don't care what he says. Um, you know, everybody has an opinion. I really don't care. If you don't believe my theories, yeah. it's whatever. I don't really care. But, dude. Messi Messi Maria, Maria. Yeah. where did you get like I, I'm genuinely curious I'm genuinely curious because like do you really think my name is Maria like do you really where did you get that because the only video that I've actually introduced myself in I say my name is Alicia mm. my name is Alicia granted yes my middle name <laughs> My middle they name. don't need to know that. They don't need to know that. <laughs> my middle name is Maria, but I've never introduced myself as Maria, and I don't think, like, no one knows that your middle name is Maria. Where'd regardless you... of that point, don't don't care where he got it from. I. Oh, by the way, it's not. He doesn't say it once. He says it many times. He calls me Maria many times. He does. He does. I didn't watch it after that. I don't I really understand. Know. Where'd you get Maria? He hmm. travels in and out of the dimension. We don't know if he's able to shapeshift, but... Wait, hold up, hold up. Uh, I feel like if he was able to shapeshift on command, then he would have done it at some point. Why? Like, maybe when he was trapped in the other world, or when his life was being threatened by the Beldam. He could have turned into a giant spider-eating lizard. But he okay, see, this is why... This is... Okay, I just gotta protect my theory, okay? I gotta protect my theory. Um, <sighs> the Beldam freaking hates cats, okay? The worst animal he could be is a freaking cat. So if the cat wants to stay a cat, it's probably because that's what's in line with what the character wants. <laughs> and that's probably why it didn't shapeshift. It's also just the fact that the Beldam freaking hates cats. She, she says, get that vermin away from me. So yeah. obviously she has such an issue with cats. Yeah, and maybe he just wants to annoy her. That's it. Is the cat actually working with the Beldam? Uh, no. Why would you ever think that? And I said, it doesn't. It's not true. The cat tries to help Coraline at That's every what you said? Yeah. And in the book, there are specific... Well, he left that out. That the cat no, I don't know. Maybe he's going to put it in. World ...and avoiding the other mother. I even have a theory of my own... Why not? ...the missing piece of the huh? cat's ear. Most likely... No. So he does have a theory. Yeah. ...the creepy Audrey Madre. The other mother. My Spanish is not great. Now, to her credit, Maria does really? admit that the cat... All right, brother. Will... I even have All right, brother. My own, Hold on. ...the missing piece of the cat's ear. Most likely the result of a close brush with the creepy Audrey Madre. The other mother. My Spanish is not great. Audrey Madre? What? I don't know. La otra madre? Is that what you meant to say? Because that's that so off. Go back. Because he's like, it's the other mother. That's what the bell down, you know, that's what they call her. The other mother. And he said, he Audrey. His, why is he trying to say it in Spanish? I have no idea. Go back. Dude, yeah, why are you trying to say it in Spanish? Credit, Maria does it. I have no idea where you got Audrey Madre from. Otra madre. La otra madre, that's how you say it. If there's one thing I've noticed with Coraline theorists, it's that they'll often ignore very overt facts that are actually in Coraline, but pay very special attention to random... I'm for, uh, okay, I'm pretty sure I did talk about this, and I explained it as something being like, um, it's a game. First, uh, I did explain it, I, I remember. I said, these these cats love to play love to play games as do the as does the bell dam so that have that in common too they love to play games and that's a game that the cat is playing with her and the cat i, I think it's in the book that he says first of all i did read the book mm. okay mm -hmm. my girlfriend can <laughs> read think, at a seventh grade level <laughs> i think it's i think it's the book where the cat says that he loves to play with his food that's what all cats do yeah you just do it yourself. Why can't you just get her parents back yourself instead of encouraging like an 11 year old girl to go back into a hell? Maybe, just maybe, the reason that he can't do that is because, and I know this is going to sound crazy, because he is a cat. He doesn't have hands and he can't do anything about it. I don't see how it would be his... He clearly took the bell down's eyes out at the end of the movie, I'm just saying. Mm. Well, he clearly also, has... Also, cats are freaking terrifying, dude. 
<laughs> this girl is honestly terrifying though. In her first Coraline video, she has this cartoon avatar. Where okay, we're not gonna talk about that. That was my first video and everybody knows that videos, first videos on YouTube are not, are, good, at are all. not good. Okay, I at was all. learning. Like they're really horrible. Like, I was fresh. super bad. First like, of all, okay, I just wanna say this. I just wanna say this, okay? First of all, I look like I'm freaking 16 years old. And I do say that I'm getting out of school, so maybe you're picking on a girl who's in freaking middle school or high school, and you're like 30-something, sir. Is he actually? I think he's 31. Um, I am not 16. <laughs> I'm She's 20. 42. I am not. I am 22. I'm 22 years old. Um, I'm much younger than you, sir. Much, much younger. So Mom. who's picky? Who's the bully now? Who's picky? It was always him. He was never the bully. When were you the bully? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Whatever. Well, it's because because uh, he was talking about she's like that kid in the playground that's always, like, trying to punch you or whatever. Mm -hmm. Dude. Did you punch him? No. You punched me. <laughs> it hurt my heart. <laughs> Why does he hurt your heart? Because I get a lot of hate now. Do you actually? Well, I saw a lot more hate comments now. Man, they're just hey, also oh. it's it's also the fact that um, like, okay, I don't want I don't want this is all fun and games, okay? It's not nothing is serious. But one thing that I'm not in agreement with really is that this person has 1.4 million subscribers, and I'm a pretty small channel. Like I don't get a lot of views, and you yeah, do, I don't either. And of course. <laughs> and you do and so um it's kind of it's kind of sad to think about like oh all your all your subscribers you have so much influence now is hating on not only me but other other people who are smaller channels too at least i think they're smaller channels uh the biggest one you talked about was the theorist and he even defended himself in the comments mm. <laughs> there's something very about that <laughs> In addition to the erratic body movements that I mentioned earlier, every now and then she'll cut away to movie footage and come back and be so close to the camera. Should oh my bad! Move away from the camera, you know, because you're such a mess. I know I look like a mess. Her next uh, movement would be uh, ten times. Dude, this guy cannot let that messy <laughs> shit go, dude. He is such a hater. Like, just a straight up vibe killer. Straight Honestly, up. dude, killer, you're cleaning hater. the fun. I do want to say this. I do have some news, okay? <laughs> and it's not really about him, but it came at a perfect time, I guess. I'm pregnant. Um, no, I'm not pregnant. No, I'm pregnant. Oh, you're pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's more of like, I am done. With you two? N no, not with you two. Oh. I am done with the theories. Wow. I am I... done with Coraline, and it's not because of anything he said. If you notice, I haven't done, and I have, you know, the last video I did wasn't relating to animated movies at all. I just can't do it anymore. I have to step away from that world, and I know a lot of you love the theories and the Coraline theories, especially. I always get videos on Coraline theories. I mean, comments. I always get comments on that. Um, but I'm done. And for those who don't want to stick around anymore. Um, it was fun while it lasted, and um, I'm still here though. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun while it lasted, and I really do appreciate you all and the people who have stuck around. And for those who want to stick around and see my new content, um, you are also welcome, and I welcome new people as well. I just wanted to create this video to like, I don't want to be placed in a negative world. Um, obviously, no one likes the hate and no one likes anyone. Um, it, 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 like, we're people, you know, we're people. And, it, and the, the that stuff sometimes can get to us. And so, like, I just want to step out of that. You know, I'm making this video simply for the fact that, okay, you know, this happened. We can laugh about it. You know, it's all fun and games or whatever. But I want to step away from that world because it brings in, it invites in a lot of negativity. And I just don't want that in my channel. Um, but... I am going to continue making videos for as long as I can and you're just gonna have to stick around to see what I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I do wanna say, I do wanna say, do not send, <laughs> as if I had any influence, and do not send any negativity, any hate or anything like that towards this 
creator on YouTube. That's not what I stand for. It's not what I want. I welcome all opinions, but please be as respectful, as kind as you can, you know. Um, and um, that's pretty much it. Okay. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.